In this video, we're going to create pallet rack locations and picking locations. So you can receive to the pallet racks and then replenish the picking area from stock. Let's get started. First, go to Setup, Location, click Auto Create. Select the warehouse you're going to create locations for. Click Next. Now, in the last warehouse I was in, there were two aisles and about eight sections in each aisle. There was a floor area, a middle area, and an upper area. So I'll leave that as three shelves. There was a position on each shelf for two pallets to fit on each shelf, but in this example we won't track the specific position, so I'll put zero there. And we're going to make the stock type locked so it's flagged and differentiated from other stock types and we can modify it in a spreadsheet. Click Next. I want to make the aisle a numeric value. I'd like to make the section a alpha character and I'd like to make the shelf a numeric character. Now I use a period to delineate it because Fishbowl commandeers the dash to delineate the location group from the location. That creates 48 locations. Those are all the rack locations. Next we'll create the picking location. Click Auto Create again. Same warehouse. This time the picking location is going to have two aisles. It's kind of a long location. There's 26, or excuse me, 12 smaller sections. And because they're all right in front of us on the shelf, or excuse me, on the floor, I'm going to make the shelf zero and the position zero. Now, you don't have to do this. Just decide based on how large your items are. So I'm pretending like our items are mid-size and they're easy to find and easy to see. Change the location type to picking. This is our picking area. Click Next. And once again, I like to make the aisle a numeric character, the, the section an alpha character, and the delinear a period. There are no shelves and positions in this case, so that doesn't matter. Click Finish. There's our locations. We have locked locations that, oh my goodness, say pickable. It's interesting, Fishbowl still defaults that. Our picking locations. Are pickable. Next we'll go to File, Export, <clears throat> open up Locations, export those, export that spreadsheet, go to our desktop, open up the spreadsheet, turn on Filters, freeze the panes, and Take a look at column C where it says type. This is where it says the type of the location. Sort that. Now we see all of our locked locations together. Column I has the pickable location and that shows you that some of the locations that we just created, or all of them, are pickable. Change that to false. Copy that to all locked locations. Make those non-pickable. Click Save. Import that back in. File Import Location. And now our locked locations are indeed locked. This is a safety net to prevent Fishbowl Go from sending your guys to the pallet rack area to pick. It also prevents pick tickets from sending your guys to the pallet rack area to pick. Now they'll only go to the picking area to pick. If you want to restock the picking area, simply use Fishbowl Go to move inventory from the pallet rack to pick, or use the inventory screen to move from the pallet rack area to pick. Thank you for joining us today at Brando Consulting. I hope this helps you in your inventory control and give you a better experience of using Fishbowl Inventory.